Hi y'all. I have to make this video real quick. <clears throat> and I'm going to keep it short. Y'all listen. I just was outside finishing up raking some leaves and I was listening to Jesus Lives 444 444 or 44 and I messed that thing up. Uh, but y'all, I will probably link it below because Saturday I listened to Minister Paul's video and he mentioned something that has to do with the vision I'm going to tell y'all about. Either he had a vision or he thought about it or something to that effect. Also, uh, Barry Scarborough had a dream where he was trying to take too much stuff when it was time to go. I'm not sure if that's in a rapture. Um, but I think he may have referenced the verse that I'm going to also reference. And also, Jesus Lives 44 for just was talking about her friend's vision of, and she also made mention of the verse in the vision. But she got it in a different way um, that I'm about to tell y'all about. And also on top of that today i was just at work thinking about how people um my my friend she's real frustrated about not being able to sell her house in the mountains and i was kind of thinking that's a good thing i'll tell you about who y'all who she is later because i want y'all to pray with me uh because she's jewish so y'all had this vision a couple months ago it was the only thing i saw um that night and it was two people sitting out in a just open field um a lady and a and a and a man sitting down in like two chairs and it made me think about the es the, the eskimos y'all the alaskan eskimo es eskimos because they were bundled up beyond being bubbled bundled up they were bundled they had to have at least seven layers of clothes on and the lady was nursing I assume it was a lady but uh, the lady was had a baby on her lap and she was nursing the baby but the baby wasn't as covered as they were and I was thinking why didn't she at least like throw a sheet over the baby the baby was exposed to uh, to the elements. And the whole entire scene of the vision was like a charcoal gray. And the only thing I could think of was nuclear winter. I'm not sure if the Lord downloaded that into my spirit. I don't. I've heard little bits and pieces of what a nuclear winter is. But that's the first thing that came to my mind. And uh, I would say maybe a couple weeks ago and getting revelation of this vision because I wasn't, I had almost forgot about and forgotten about it until her, her minister Paul mentioned it. And I, I had to comment on his channel um, on Saturday because it brought it back to remembrance. But the only other thing I thought of was, uh, I want to say it's pro Proving Truth with Lauren. She mentioned something about her and her dad having a conversation and she mentioned something about there were like undercover Russians living already it's been reported or something like spies living in Alaska and that would be like our um, our weak point so all four of us we all kind of had like these visions or dreams or impressions or whatever and I would say five if you if you include Jesus loves friend who she spoke about today um, all of us had the same whatever confirmation that, that comes from one verse and I'm gonna read it real quick because the title heading for it is the abomination of desolation and we just assumed that we won't be here <laughs> um, but um, all of our impressions and dreams and visions and so on and so forth came from the same 
uh, chapter and verse. So I'm going to read it. Uh, signs of the end of the age. And then the next is persecution of disciples. And the next is the abomination of desolation. When you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Stand in the holy place. Whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is also on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor shall there ever be. Um, and except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved, but for their elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Y'all, there's a lot of controversy about the, that being, uh, I won't say controversy, controversy, but a lot of people say those verses are not for us, those are to the Jews. Um, <clears throat> however you want to put it, um, of course, the, the Antichrist would have, have to be revealed then. And that also kinds of li kind of lines up to uh, a word of knowledge that I got about the Antichrist. But anyway, y'all, let's pray that we will be gone. Um, y'all, what I said in that vision, it is nothing. There's no good that could, could have come out of that vision. There's no good. It was not. It was just a horrible looking just desolate just no hope of a scene that I saw um and I would just ask you guys um my friend's name she's her name is Mona um she is 82 years old she's a good friend of mine she doesn't act 82 and she doesn't look 82 but she's Jewish love her to death we, we have dinner dates and all that stuff she's just a, a good friend of mine um Y'all, it's just, I, it's been burdened on my heart that I should continuously pray for her. And uh, I actually was supposed to get together with her this weekend, but I'll probably see her very soon. And um, let's just keep in prayer. Y'all, the tribulation ain't not to play with. I, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. Even if we have to be here for some type of nuclear war, I just couldn't imagine. Um, that's it. I had to put this out there. It was just, it was just leaping in my spirit for, for a couple days now, and I think it's just confirmation that the Lord is speaking to all of us. Y'all be safe. I plead the blood of Jesus over your household and your children. Uh, hopefully, y'all are staying inside because this is Halloween. It is Devil's Day, and I still don't feel nothing good about it. Um, my heart is just kind of like sad and already seeing the children dressed up in Halloween costumes. Uh, my son's inside. We're going to be doing homework and we're just going to be uh, not going outside after after a certain hour. <sighs> I pleaded blood of Jesus over y'all's um, household. Y'all pray on the things that we have seen and the things, also the things the Lord has shown you. He is truly pouring out his spirit and y'all be blessed and I'll come back and make another video whenever I feel led to. Alright. Y'all be safe.